My name is Renee Sisk and I'm the HR manager here at Pacific Manufacturing Tennessee and I have been with um, PMT for almost seven years. It will be seven years in April. Basically I'm in charge of the welding department here at Pacific. I've been here almost three years. I'm Gabriel Young. I'm actually the production manager over the press process here at uh, PMT. I've been here since 2015. I actually started here in 2015. So on a day-to-day -day basis, if employees have questions or concerns that I can help them with, I'm available. We have an open door policy, come in, let us know how we can help them. That can be referring somebody to be hired in, getting ready to be hired in themselves. Maybe um, they've got a medical situation they want to talk about or something's going out on the floor that they want to talk about. So we just make ourselves available for our people. We take a lot of metal parts and we weld them together. We put weld nuts onto them, studs onto them, things like that. There's 121 welding machines. Of that, there's nine lasers, seven tandem presses. My overall job is that I make sure that we get the people that we need to do the job properly, that they get trained properly, that everyone works safely, that pretty much we do it the best that we can for the cheapest that we can. My position is quite challenging, uh, but I do really look forward to and enjoy the rewards of actually completing these goals and actually doing this alongside my associates. As me being a manager, I am a little more physical and out there on the floor to help and assist and to teach and to train us. And I think they really receive that a lot better than someone standing in the background and just pointing and say, do this and do that. On a daily basis, I go out and check for safety concerns. I have meetings with my, my leaders, group leaders, and let them know what the tasks are for today, uh, just to give them that, uh, that, that extra assistance instead of just leaving them out there on their own. Pacific is a Japanese family-owned company, and you probably saw this when you went out on our production floor, the friendliness of our people. They are inviting, they want to answer your questions, they want to show you what they've got going on. And, and I think that that's, you know, a good culture to have, is uh, that friendliness, them being inviting, them wanting to share with you. Now I can't walk 15 feet without someone stopping me and saying, hi, how you doing, you know, talking to me about something. Part of the changing the culture here was to practice mendomi. My philosophy and my assistant manager's philosophy is to treat everyone like we want to be treated, treat them like family, like they belong. We want you to come to work, enjoy what you do, and go home and spend time with your family. Pretty much the welcoming environment. One thing that did surprise me is how much of input they let us actually put in, instead of saying, oh, we're gonna do it this way. I like the Japanese manufacturing style. Uh, to me, it is a logical style um, with standard work, with 5S, problem solving. Maybe that's just how my mind works, but to me, it is a more logical manufacturing philosophy and style than what I'd seen at other, other places. So 5S, it's basically a program that if it's practiced properly, it's gonna keep you safer. It's gonna make sure your products are made of better quality. It's gonna keep you efficient. But the five S's are sort, set, shine, standardize, and sustain. So basically sorting means when you go to your work area, you're gonna have things there that you're gonna use for the day and that you're not. You're gonna sort them into needed, not needed. Not needed will be set somewhere else. 
and then what's needed you will set in place to make a smoother flow of your production process. The third S shine obviously means to clean up. You definitely don't want to have trip hazards or anything that's going to be unsafe and then standardized means that's your process no matter where, where you're at and then if you do standardize enough it becomes part of your work history, your, your what you do on a daily basis. Um, basically I do a lot of Kaizen activities which is continuous improvement. I get my people to do a lot of activities. They come up with things that they think might save money or time, you know, time is money. If we can do something quicker, that saves the company money in the long run. Basically, my whole job is continuous improvement for the department. Everybody's priority should be safety. Um, and that's within any facility. Uh, safety of yourself, your employees, no matter what department, uh, you want everybody to go home just like they came here. Sometimes, with the little workout that we get here, we go back home in a better condition <laughs> in, in some cases. We have this thing called five whys. It's always why, 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 why. To actually reach the root cause of why these issues happen, why this safety incident happened, why did this quality issue happen, instead of just asking one time and just coming up with something out the, out the blue. So I would let them know that yes, we are definitely hiring and unlike a lot of other companies, we have day shift positions. That's a, that's a big factor as well. A lot of companies you'll have to start on second or third shift. Me coming to Pacific was the best choice that I've ever made. I've been in manufacturing for 35 years now and at all different levels and this is by far the best job that I've ever had. I come to work, I enjoy what I do, I go home, so it's a good place to work if you want to grow your career. Um, I'll tell them it's a great place to work. Um, no one can stop you but you. Um, even with the pay rate, I mean, it's basically based off of you. The International Festival that Jackson hosts every year, it's always fun to go there. Um, I get to see some of my colleagues um, in their traditional Japanese uh, attire um, get to experience some food that they actually prepared, so that's always, that's always fun. My wife, who works at one of the local high schools, introduced me to one of the teachers who's in charge of their distance work-based learning program and she was looking for businesses that were willing to let high school students come in and work for them in the afternoons. So talking with her, I came, I'm established a shift that's three to seven in the afternoon and evening. So it's a four hour shift, Monday through Friday. And the only requirements are that you have to be 18 years old and you come to work. And I've been working with South Gibson County High School and they've been wonderful. Any issues that we've had, they've, you know, taken care of right away. They're very particular on who they're willing to send here because they really appreciate what we do.